Good afternoon, church. Uh, Brother Matt here again. Um, just wanted to uh, kind of do a quick recap of uh, the message uh, this past Sunday. Uh, we talked about having a renewed spirit. How do we go about um, having a renewed spirit, uh, a steadfast spirit, an unwavering uh, spirit? Uh, the first thing we talked about this past Sunday was uh, we need to be intentional when we seek God's presence. Uh, in other words, uh, we need to make time every day uh, to be in uh, our quiet place, our prayer closet, uh, wherever it is you go to be alone with God. You know, we talked a little bit about how Jesus, it was his custom uh, to get up early in the morning and go and be uh, alone with uh, his Father in heaven. Uh, and many times, um, not only did he do it early in the morning, but he uh, would find opportunities throughout the day and even spent all night uh, in the presence of his Father uh, so that he could experience um, God's presence in his life to strengthen him, give him direction, encouragement, and that's what we need. We need the same thing. So we need to be intentional about uh, being present with God every day. The second thing we talked about was being obedient to the Holy Spirit every day. As the Spirit of God leads us, we are filled with and led by the Spirit of God. Uh, and as we are being uh, led by the Spirit of God, we need to be obedient to the Spirit of God. Uh, and we do that by... Uh, stopping what we're doing and doing what the Spirit of God tells us to do. I tell this um, story that happened to me in my life. I was on the way to um, Jackson Hospital one day to pray with a, a man and his family. He was fixed to have surgery. Uh, and as I was driving to the hospital, I passed a man on the side of the road. God just spoke to my heart at that moment, said, stop and help this man. And I didn't stop. I kept going once again, he just kind of impressed upon my heart that I needed to turn around and go back and help this man. So I did. I went back and helped this man. He had a flat tire, didn't have a spare. And so I took him with me to the hospital and I left him in my truck with the truck running, with the air conditioner running because it was a hot summer's day. Um, and I went inside and prayed. I came back out. He was still there. My truck was still there. And uh, I went and helped him get a tire put on his uh, rim and uh, took him back to his car. And uh, during the course of this um, uh, time together, uh, he discovered that uh, my dad used to be his pastor. And he wanted me to give uh, his information to my dad, and I did. And my dad went by to see him and uh, caught up with him. Um, and then a couple of weeks later, this man passed. And uh, his daughter came into the room and found my father's card, calling card on uh, his, her dad's desk or a nightstand, and um, called and, and asked my dad to do this man's funeral. Now, if I hadn't have stopped and helped this man, like the Spirit of God was telling me to do that day, then none of the rest of this stuff would have ever happened. Uh, and um, he, he, he told me that day, he, he, he witnessed to me, he said, it's just interesting how your father helped me through a difficult situation 30 years ago, and now his son is helping me uh, today. So we need to be obedient to the Spirit of God. And then we need to humbly repent of our sins every day. Uh, every day we we stumble and we sometimes, you know, make mistakes. And uh, we need to ask God to forgive us when we, when we sin, when we do things that we know are not in God's will, when we do things that do not please God. Uh, what God wants us to do is to live a life of faith that is pleasing to him. Uh, and when we don't please him, we need to ask God to forgive us. And um, I think that that's something that we need to do every day. Uh, none of us are perfect. Uh, and so um, being able to you know, humbly repent of your sins every day will keep you in that close connection, that wonderful relationship, that love relationship that we have with, with God. And then lastly, we need to allow God to restore us, to restore our relationship with him, because sin does separate us uh, from God. 
So let me ask you a question. So if, you, if you've been doing these four things so far this week, you know, you've had a couple of days to maybe practice this and, and do some of the things we talked about Sunday. How would you feel uh, if God overwhelmed you with his presence? In other words, if you start doing these four things and you begin to experience the presence of God in a, in a new and a fresh and an exciting way, how would that make you feel? Would it give you uh, the desire to do this more often? I believe it would. And as we begin to understand that this is what God wants, you know, he created us uh, to be in communion, to be in fellowship with him. Uh, and uh, when we're not, uh, we're not really living the full life that God wants us to live. So today, I hope that uh, you will start these practices so that you can um, have that renewed uh, steadfast spirit in your life that will help us as we move through this be renewed uh, discipleship journey. Uh, so let me pray for you today and pray for us and pray for our church. Okay, let's pray. Loving Father, we thank you so much for your desire uh, to be uh, in communion with us. Lord, you created us uh, to be in fellowship with you. And so, Lord, uh, our life is not full. Our life is not fulfilled uh, unless we're in fellowship uh, with you. And so, Lord, we want to do whatever it takes so that we can experience the presence of the living God each and every day of our lives. And I pray, Lord, that you'll bless each and every person watching this video today uh, and watching this video in the future. I, I pray, Lord, that you'll help us to be renewed in the spirit. And Lord, we uh, are excited about what you have already done as you have renewed our, our hearts and renewed our minds. And now you are beginning to renew our spirits. And so, Lord, we just thank you for uh, loving us. We thank you, Lord, for what you're doing in our lives, in our church, in our community. I pray that you'll continue to help us to catch that vision that you have for our church so that we can uh, come alongside you in mission and in ministry. And we look forward to, uh, Lord, uh, worshiping uh, you this Sunday. And I pray that you'll just uh, continue to watch over each and every person in our congregations, those that worship uh, online, but also those that worship in person. And we pray all this in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Well, I hope today has blessed you. Uh, I look forward to seeing uh, each and every one of you uh, in, in worship on Sunday, uh, whether you worship with us in person or online. Um, I hope that you have a blessed day. And as always, be safe and be healthy and uh, stay in Christ's arms. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.